Many of us in this room, me included, were trained to primarily focus on a challenging kid's challenging behavior. And we were trained to try to modify that behavior. And that is not what you're doing in this model. In this model, you are instead focused on identifying and solving the problems that are causing those behaviors. This is a problem-solving model, not a behavior modification model. Now, don't worry. A lot of people get a little skittish. They feel if they aren't modifying behavior, then the behavior is going to get worse. That is not our experience. That is also not what the studies on this model tell us. Here's what the studies tell us, as well as experience. When you are busy solving problems, problems that are causing their challenging behavior, the behaviors improve every bit as much as they would have if all you were doing was modifying behavior. But if all you are busy is doing modifying behavior, you are not solving a single problem because behavior modification strategies don't solve problems and weren't designed to. So for now, we got us a two for one sale going here. Not only when you're solving problems, are you, are, are you improving the behavior that's being caused by those problems, you are also solving the problems that are causing them. In this model, behavior is just the signal, just the fever, just the means by which the kid is communicating something very important. I'm stuck. There are expectations I'm having difficulty meeting. That's all behavior is. If all we're busy doing is modifying behavior, all we're doing is modifying the signal. But we are not solving any problems that way. Mm. Why have we been so focused on behavior for so long? Because a very long time ago, B.F. Skinner told us that the only thing that's objective, the only thing that's observable, the only thing that's quantifiable is overt behavior. And, and B.F. Skinner did say that. But B.F. Skinner also talked every bit as much about the conditions in which those behaviors occur, which, by the way, are just as observable just as objective, just as quantifiable. In this model, you are focused on those conditions. You are not focused on the behaviors that are occurring in those conditions. Now, we don't call them conditions in this model. We're not, we're not allergic to the term. It's just not what we call them. Not allergic to the term antecedents either, but it's not what we call them either. We have two terms for what B.F. Skinner referred to as uh, conditions. We call them either unmet expectations. When do all human beings look bad? When there are expectations we're having difficulty meeting. And we all look bad sometimes. In the case of kids, usually it's somebody else's expectations, sometimes their own. In the case of adults, more often your own, but often somebody else's as well. So unmet expectations is a perfect synonym for what B.F. Skinner referred to as conditions, but the preferred term is unsolved problems. By the way, also known as problems that have yet to be solved. Also known as problems that are waiting to be solved. Waiting for who? Waiting for you. But not if you're primarily focused on the signal. If all we're focused on is the kid's behavior, the problems do not get solved. If a kid is exhibiting challenging behavior, I promise you there is an expectation that kid is having difficulty meeting. And yet, what we spend most of our time talking about is the signal. Not in this model.